um, again, this is around uh, now uh, August of 2011. PG&E has since come under fire on many issues, and certainly the fact that uh, they've been in collusion with the California Public Utility Commission. So what happened in order to create the illusion that the California Public Utility Commission actually regulated the utilities, which they don't, it's all Rothschild, they slapped PG in on the, on the hand and required a document release. Well, there was a large document release, as I recall, uh, about seven or so months ago, and different members in this uh, group, uh, this uh, EMF safety network group that I'm a part of, were going through these documents that were released by PG&E. And I'm going to read to the audience uh, a document released, and it is extremely disturbing. And here we go. First, I'm going to just say that these emails were dated in August of 2011. There are only two emails. Uh, one is from the California Public Utility, Utility Commission going to uh, PG&E, Pacific Gas and Electric. And again, you can type in PG&E followed by Rothschild, and you will see that PG&E is Rothschild. It's so hard to believe. It's amazing. They're just in everything. Yes, yeah. they are. So here's what's important to understand about these two emails. First of all, there were a total of six people involved in the email, not just the two people that were communicating back and forth, but the four people that were copied in the email exchange. Mm -hmm. And the people that were copied, here's uh, an idea of who these people were. First of all, the subject of the email exchange was space weather risk. And uh, the executive director of the CPUC was copied, uh, the vice president of regulatory affairs, the CPUC attorney, and the interim director at the CPUC. And then, of course, the two people that corresponded directly and copied those four people. Here's the first email, again, dated August 2011. This is from the CPUC to PG&E. I assume you're assembling a high-level task force of washed up and never were, yet somehow, movie star handsome, former astronaut, to handle PG&E's response to the upcoming damaging space weather. Also, mm -hmm. please dribble out one at a time over the next few months all internal memos, lawsuits, PowerPoint presentations, and um, officer cover-up directives in which PG&E is repeatedly warned about damaging space weather and chooses to do nothing, then has its lawyers blame its customers, a.k.a. Earthling, for an, ad for an adverse consequences resulting. Now, keep in mind, PG&E is involved in weather modification. In fact, um, I was personally on the 16th floor of the PG&E building in San Francisco mm -hmm. uh, where they monitor the weather, and they have pulled permits uh, to uh, inject cloud seeding and, of course, more here in Northern California. Here's the second email now in response to that email I just wrote that was from the CPUC to PG&E. Now, this is only within about 10 minutes. Can you talk a bit louder, Deborah? I think we're getting yes. a little low. There we go. Now okay. We're there. Yeah, this yeah. is only about a 10-minute delay before there's an answer back uh -huh. um, from the CPUC email from mm -hmm. uh, PG&E. This is mm -hmm. now from PG&E. Just a reminder, we are the first to propose a solar generator in space that will beam RF waves down to a receptor site and convert it to DC current. We have changed our receptor site from the Mojave Desert to Sebastopol, California. Now, this is a very alarming. I sent this email exchange to uh, some higher ups, and I received some responses to this email and what they believe is meant. And uh, this is the first comment response to this email exchange. Um, I consulted with a top expert, a man who was a 
high official in an American electronics company with a classified job and deep knowledge about these matters. I have been able to come up with the following. This system is set of orbital sun collectors, which will concentrate sunlight and convert it to microwaves and send it down to a station to generate power. It, however, could be used by aiming uh, by aiming to any target below within a certain radius to completely destroy all human life slowly in a large city. Very dangerous, mm -hmm. unneeded means mm -hmm. of generating power now that we have so many free energy means available. Obviously, most energy providers are associated with and under the control of the um, U.S. government and Intel. Here's the second comment to this email exchange. I agree with your assessment. This email exchange dated 211 is indeed very disturbing. I submit it is merely a wisp of the smoke from a recently fired gun, the visible tip of a very dangerous iceberg. I strongly suggest you immediately file a series of Freedom of Information Act requests targeting both the CPUC and PG&E in order to hopefully get a fuller picture of this complete iceberg and what has transpired concerning this to date. Okay. You, as a California resident, have every right to know what your public utilities are doing with your rate dollars. As you know, beamed microwave radio frequencies from space are the patented techniques for manipulating the Earth's jet stream in order to turn selectively modified weather patterns worldwide. Climate change is genuine. However, I submit it is simply not the result of except excessive human carbon emissions, footprints as infamously claimed. The potential to generate electricity from beam RF waves is certainly a possibility with the existing technology, but I submit it is not the primary goal. I submit the necessary outer space RF generators are already in place and have been functional for at least a decade and a uh, half. Uh. Sadly, the tech has long since been used. Space-based weapons in conjunction with the wireless networks, along with frequencies used mm -hmm. to first crowds, etc., mm -hmm. are old technologies. Most people are unaware well, just true. how advanced tech has become. Mm -hmm. Six people were involved in these emails, PG&E, and CPUC, and the tech is real. And then there's attachments uh, showing the involvement of PG&E with weather weapons, uh, which they are heavily engaged. As you know, Rothschild owns Weather Central, and also the uh, uh, involvement of Rothschild and PG&E. Thank you very much, Lori. It's been a very long time since I've been here. This is Deborah Tavares with StopTheCrime.net. I say that because there is a very significant YouTube there on Stop the Crime, and one of the reasons why I was not here for two and a half years. I used to be a radio attendee here. But um, Pacific Gas and Electric was intercepted with a download of documents professing the fact that they were going to be using directed energy weapons satellite based on Sonoma County. That has been up on YouTube with a plan to burn up Northern California. We discovered that Pacific Gas and Electric is operated by and large by Rothschild. Rothschild owns Weather Central and also has a large hand in weather modification globally. And I'm so sad to be here today because I have family members that lost homes and I live in a county that I call home that is being literally overrun by a power that has not yet been discussed. And I'm horrified and sad to be here right now. Very sad. But the plan to burn up Northern California was real. It was your first early warning. And they were emails that were sent to other government officials that knew about this. 
and I would ask you please to watch the YouTube, listen to it, because the second plan of burning up Northern California hasn't yet happened, but it will. It will happen. The Rocky Fire is relentless. It exploded again overnight, fanned by erratic winds over bone dry brush. The latest advance prompted more evacuations and destruction as Nikki Shatter returned to her neighborhood of Lower Lake. I feel so bad. There's hundreds of people that live down there that just their houses are ashes, and everyone we know that lives down there, they have nothing anymore. So, Pacific Gas and Electric is Rothschild. Everybody listening can type in PGE followed by Rothschild. You can also type in Edison International in Southern California, followed by Rothschild. You will, in fact, find out that Rothschild is behind all of the utilities nationwide. This is why our grid is not hardened up against an electric, an EMP, electromagnetic pulse. We are literally here as a country and a, and a um, society, and here in Northern California and elsewhere, at the hands of something larger than what we realize. And I was quiet for two and a half years. That's why I haven't been here. But I'm here now. And I'm just telling you this. You had an early warning, but you didn't pay heed. It was too outrageous and too outlandish to believe that it was real. But it was. Gary Tavares stopped the crime. Thank you. Thank you.